Hello, and welcome. In this AutoCAD in 5 video, we will be looking over plotting and printing our drawing, changing and creating different plot styles, and plotting from model or paper space. Once in our file, we can go ahead and click the print icon at the top, or use the drop down menu, hover over print, and select plot. That will prompt the plot window where we are given a few options. Begin by selecting what plotter or printer you will be sending your drawing to. If you are printing a physical copy of your drawing then you will need to select the printer you are connected to on your computer from the list of printers here. This will vary for everyone depending on the printer name and location. For this video, we are going to make a PDF of our drawing to hold a digital copy of, but we will still set it up on an 11 by 17 size paper in the case of having to print a physical copy. The standard AutoCAD to PDF plot is DWG to PDF. This is the most commonly used PDF converter AutoCAD provides as it offers high quality at a reasonable file size. Ensure your sheet size is then set to the size you are looking to print your drawing at. The drawing will print this size regardless of actual paper size, you may have your drawing print really small or too big if this is not set. Let's make sure our plot area only plots the R we want it to. Since we are in model space we can select window and create an outline of the area we want to show. This will only plot the area within the boundary and automatically scale it to your given sheet size. Keep the plot offset on center the plot and for plot scale select fit to paper unless you want to go with a custom scale. With fit to paper, the drawing will be sized to take up the entire page. We can hit preview and see how our drawing will look as a PDF when we plot it. Now we need to set a plot style that works for our drawing, as each plot style will create different line weights, line colors, and more. The monochrome plot style, for example, sets every line in the drawing when plotted to black. As you can see here, there are lots of plot styles to choose from as they have been created or downloaded. If you need to add plot styles or create one of your own, as we have here, then you can do so quite easily. One way to create your own plot style is by editing an existing plot style. To do so, select the plot style you would like to edit. In this case, we will keep monochrome and edit the plot settings based off of it. From this window, we can change how the colors on the left-hand side appear when plotted or printed. In this case, color 1 which is red, is going to print in black as that is listed in the properties. You can assign all of the available colors in AutoCAD from the plot styles listed on the left to print in any color you would like by changing the properties. Let's change color 1 to show as gray when plotted and color 2 to do the same. Make sure to save your plot style with a new name to keep everything organized. From here, we can also set the line weights and styles of each layer a certain way. This does not mean that every line in that layer will be set to that. In order to have your line weights and colors set to the specific one of the layer they must be both set to by layer in your drawing. Another option to add plot styles is through online websites, where you can download and add them for your use. Now, let's say you have two or more drawings you want a PDF together as the same file. Rather than having to use a PDF combine tool through an external application, we can do it right in CAD. Select the top left icon to bring the main menu drop down. We will go back to print and hover over it. From here we want to select batch plot. This will give us the ability to select which drawings we want to PDF together and which to take out. To remove a sheet, select it then hit the Remove Sheet icon with the red minus symbol on it. For Publish options in the top right, choose where your drawings will be saved to. We can double check our plot size and scale where we see the sheet details. Select More Copies if you want more than one copy of our drawings created. Hit Publish and your drawings will begin to plot. We can check the progress of the job from the Publish icon on the bottom of our screen. That concludes this AutoCAD in 5 video on plotting and printing, thank you for watching, and if you learned something new and want more videos like this don't forget to like and subscribe for more.